holy bowls. Holy bowls. So I know it seems like I probably have all of the money in the world and just have like literally bought the whole Pat McGrath store since I first reviewed Midnight Sun palette, which I'll link up there and down below for you if you haven't seen that. But honestly, I swear that's actually not the case. <laughs> she has just had a lot of sales or her products have been on sale just coincidentally a lot in the last six months for me to finally try. So... Happy days for me, basically. <laughs> and this one is no exception. So today, as per the title of this video, we are testing out the Pat McGrath Mothership 2, I think this one is. Yep, Mothership 2 Sublime Palette. Ta-da! I picked this one up in Black Friday sales because Sephora Australia had this for like pretty much 50% off. It was 110 Australian dollars, I think it is, and they're normally 200. That's a lot of money to save. Like, you're never going to see that. Even when Pat has, like, her 30-35% off sales, she's still... They still only come down to about... Not only, but they still come down to, like, 140 something dollars. So to get that for $100, <laughs> you bet your bottom dollar that I was going to pick it up. So let's get started putting this to the test. Now, if this sounds interesting to you, make sure you keep on watching. If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that jazz. I truly, truly appreciate it if you do subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so all of the normal hoopla that we do in these eyeshadow palette reviews, this is the casing that the Sublime Mothership 2 palette comes in, or Mothership 2 Sublime, whatever you want to call it. This is stunning, you guys. This one is beautiful. Like, if you are into that kind of, like, grungy, kind of sultry, like, I don't know, editorial artwork. This is really, really pretty. I really like this. I think this is almost my favorite. Midnight Sun packaging is still my favorite, but this packaging is really, really close. It's so beautiful. Um, as per normal, you got all the info on the back and you have the Thai experience at the front with all of the shade names on the inside here. And then this is the actual palette itself. Again, her normal shiny black packaging with the gold on the outside. And then this is the actual beautiful palette itself. Is this not absolutely stunning? Is this green shade not one of the prettiest things you have ever seen ever? It is so, so gorgeous. Now let me drop my lights for you guys just like I always do so that you can see what this palette looks like as true to color as possible. So you get the usual 10 eyeshadows in this particular palette, plus a mix of formulas like you normally do, like a mix of mattes, shimmers, metallics, those spectacularly unique glittery shades, all of that kind of stuff. You get all of that in this particular palette as well. And I double checked before I purchased this that there was no duplicate shades, because if any of you have seen my Divine Rose palette review, you know, you know, that's all I'm going to say. Let's delay this no further. Let's zoom you guys in really nice and close so that you can see what I'm doing and let's see how this eyeshadow palette performs. Okay, you guys have zoomed in nice and close and uh, I primed my eyelids using the normal NARS smudge proof tinted primer in light like I always do. And I was actually just swatching this palette because I haven't even touched it yet. And look at these freaking shades, you guys. Are you kidding me? These are those spectacular, like, unique four formulas that she has at the ends of her palettes, usually. So these, like, four right here that I've just swatched. Um, how am I supposed to pick a color to use today? Like, how am I supposed to? Because, I mean, I'm probably going to use this, let's not lie, but, like, they're all amazing. And the camera, I promise you, is not doing these justice. Like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. These are also the other kind of shimmery metallic shades that are in the palette and they are also very pretty. I mean, they are not as spectacular as those other four shadows, but these are very pretty and these are like really, really nice for everyday wear. Like normal, no idea what look I'm doing, but we are just going to see where this road takes us. So I do know though that I'm going to pick up this shade right here first on my Sephora Precision Shadow Brush, which I use all of the time in my tutorials if you've seen them and this is the color dark if you're interested in the name i am going to start by packing this kind of dark color on to the outer corner here originally when i picked up this palette i actually 
thought it had a lot more mattes in it than it does because and that's kind of one of the other reasons why I was super excited to pick it up even though I just want all of the pat palettes now because I'm addicted um, but then when I got it it only has two so there you go I really don't do my research before I buy these things sometimes do I honestly now for this one I am actually going to cheat a little bit and I'm gonna dip into my Midnight Sun palette and pick up this tan color right here because this one the sublime one doesn't have a light enough transition shade to kind of use and if I was doing this look off camera or anything like that I would go into another palette so just keep that in mind if you are gonna pick up this palette you may need to ensure that you do have another palette handy just to kind of create a transition shade or maybe you don't care and then happy days. This is a Sigma E25 and I'm just going to kind of start buffing out that dark color. So I'm buffing out half on the dark color and half above it and I'm just going to softly blend it. Okay, I just, um, I built up both of my eyes to kind of match. So I've got that dark shade, uh, packed onto both of the eyes and then I blended it out with the lighter tan shade in the Midnight Sun palette. Now for the extremely, extremely fun part, we are going to take this absolutely beautiful green shade right here, which is called Blitz Emerald. And I'm just picking it up on a flat shading brush and I am going to wet my brush because I know from testing already two of these Pat McGrath palettes that this is the best way that these shadows perform. And I'm just going to press and pack this green shadow on so that I hopefully don't get fallout all over my face. Holy balls. Holy balls. Oh. Wow. Wow. Look at how beautiful this freaking shade is. Oh my lord, I have never used a green like this. Normally, when you get a dark green like this, it really just heavily shifts quite black. I've never seen anything like this. Oh my goodness, this is just all of my dreams come true for a green shade. All of them. Like, actually, wow. Actually, wow. Holy dooly. You guys, this shade alone is like worth $100. I'm kidding, obviously. Nothing is worth that, but whoa. Okay. Okay, Pat, I see you. Well done. I have, don't actually know if I've ever been more impressed with an eyeshadow before, honestly. This isn't like a shade that I would wear every day. It's not like this has been like a shade that I've been looking for my entire life, but I have always tried to find a beautiful dark green shimmer shade like this and they always shift too heavily black on the actual eye and you don't get enough green for me. This is the first green, like dark green shimmer shade I have ever found that actually goes, just stays green. Well done, Pat. Well done. Okay, so I'm actually just going back into Midnight Sun and picking up this little tan shade right here on a Delium Tools triple seven brush. It's just a little shader brush, but I like using this for my under eyes. And I'm just going to put that lightly underneath my eyes, just on the outer half. Then I'm just picking up that dark color again, just on a really small shader brush. And I'm going to smudge that really close to the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here, which is called VR Nectar, just on a little flat shading brush as well. And I'm going to pop that just like on this inner part of the lower lash line, just really lightly. And hope that I don't ruin all of my makeup. Now we're going to dip into this beautiful shade right here, which is called Astral Ghost Orchid. And it's kind of like a white glittery shimmer shade with like a pink shift to it if I could describe it like that 
that's how I would describe it. And I'm just taking this on a Morphe M321 brush and I'm going to just pop that into my inner corner. Okay, so I'm just going to go finish up the eyes. I'm just basically putting mascara on and just some black eyeliner on the upper waterline there and all that kind of stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is the finished makeup look, and I am... Words cannot even describe how beyond happy I am with this eyeshadow palette and with how this look turned out. I freaking love it. I freaking love it, and honestly, it's giving Midnight Sun a really close run for its money. I feel like these four shades here are just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's pro it's definitely like tied with Midnight Sun. I don't think I could choose between this one and Midnight Sun. I definitely prefer this one and Midnight Sun over Divine Rose. Divine Rose is still beautiful, don't get me wrong. I still love her. But this one and Midnight Sun are impeccable. And this one, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Honestly, you guys, I just, it's blowing my mind. It's blowing my mind. What the fuck? Expectation versus reality. Honest to God, expectation was just like, it met, it exceeded expectations. It just did. It's just so good. And I just, if you see this palette and you can afford it full price, if you see it on sale and you can afford it, grab it. If basically, if you can afford this palette, grab it. Just grab it. You won't regret it. I promise you. So that is it for this palette review. I don't really know what else to tell you. I am beyond happy. Like, a word doesn't even exist for how happy I am with this eyeshadow palette. I'm not even kidding. I am not joking. And I am not sucking up Pat McGrath's. But either she doesn't know who I am, she doesn't know I exist. I just, I actually just am. I can't believe that makeup like this exists. I'm blown away. Anyway. End of the video. I'm going to stop rambling now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can give it a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you're watching to this point, God, you are an absolute amazing human being and I appreciate you so much. I hope that you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time.